Skip Bazi to Almas here. Got for you guys today another uh, post narrated showdown battle. Now, I do apologize, guys. I've been uh, very busy the past uh, couple days. So, hopefully, I can get around to uh, maybe doing another showdown live tomorrow for uh, tomorrow's upload. You get what I'm trying to say. Tomorrow's upload, upload <laughs> will hopefully be a showdown live. Uh, hopefully, you guys do not mind the replays. But uh, let me just say this is actually probably one of the best Inu battles that I've had in quite a while. And it's also one of the most frustrating battles that I've had in a while. So, of course, if you guys do enjoy, then uh, please make sure to show off support. Hit the like button down below and make sure to answer the question of the day, which will be on your screen throughout the team preview. Now, speaking of team preview, let's go ahead and get into that now. No, oh, excuse me. Now, the team that I'm using is a team that I did a showdown live with. Uh, with my good friend Tennis, this is actually his team, so I will leave a link to that showdown live down in the description. If it's not there, then remind me, because I know I forgot it last time. So, yeah, let me know. It's a very fun team uh, based around Stored Power Musharna, which has Barrier and Calm Mind Stored Power and Moonlight. Now, obviously, that set can be shut down if... Um, I am Toxic, for example, if he has Toxic Spikes and I'm not able to defog with Archaeops, that could be very, very bad for me, so I definitely have to watch out for a Garboder. Uh, Lipard pretty much 100% shuts down this Musharna set, so I have to get rid of Lipard. Now, unfortunately for this team, as, as well, as good as this team is, it's a very good balanced team, it does have two major, major threats. Uh, not threats, more like nuisances, but in this case it is a threat because it's Garboder. Uh, Weezing is more of a nuisance to this team as we're Garboder because it does have Gunk Shot. It can have uh, Rocky Helmet and Drain Punch. It can be a huge, huge problem for my team. Uh, the best way I have to take it down is with Earthquake from Archeops and uh, Earthquake from Quagsire and to potentially burn it with Quagsire. I don't want to set up on it with Musharna because it can poison me with Gunk Shot, which really sucks. He pretty much counters my Hariyama and my Scyther. A Pharisee can wear it down with Leech Seed, I suppose, but uh, Drain Punch is going to be very annoying. Plus, he can just set up spikes and then be aggressive and potentially prevent me from defogging with Archaeops. Uh, Mag Mortar shouldn't be too big of an issue just because I do have... Quagsire and I do have Hariyama plus Archaeops checks it so I'm really not too concerned about it. Ludicolo, as long as I have Pharaoh Seed, Ludicolo shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, Hariyama can tank one modest Hydro Pump in the rain so I'm not too concerned about Ludicolo and then I can just Oko it with close combat. Uh, Hitmonchan is Hitmonchan, I have Quagsire and I have Musharna. Unless he has Toxic then there's really no reason him on chop, him on chop, him on top should uh, cause me troubles and then Claydol's garbage. Don't use this. Let's get this battle started. All right, so I'm gonna be leading off with my Pharaoh Seed, uh, thinking that he would actually lead off with the Lipard potentially, but he ends up leading off with the Garboder, which <laughs> hilarious nickname. Which uh, unfortunately I can't really do much to besides go for Leech Seed, which I am gonna do. Expecting him to actually just want to get up like a layer of spikes as I'm going to catch the incoming Magmortar. This is really good because now I will be able to go for the Protect, scatter to see if he's potentially choice and then get off an extra 12% with the uh, with the Elite Seed. Sorry. As he ends up switching into the Garboder, I switch into my Hariyama. So this is actually really, really bad for me because I can literally do nothing to this Garboder. So... I switch directly into Tennis to Quagsire as I will be able to just go for the Scald because I literally have no reason not to. If I get a burn on this Ludicolo, that's going to be tremendous for me. I do get a crit, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, like really? Like, the extra 2% does not play a role in this match. Just, I'm just saying that because, just like I said, this battle is kind of frustrating. So, I get a crit, but no burn. That's fine, because as I said, I do have a Pharaoh Seed, which should be able to take this one-on-one. -on -one. But, if he does want to go for a Rain Dance, I can take a Hydro Pump, as you say there. And I can take an Ice Beam, and then I can go for U-Turn, or I can go for Aerial Ace. So, I am going to end up just going for the U-Turn, because I really cannot risk him 
uh, getting up a rain dance after I've already taken a hit. So I do have to play the aggressor here. And ultimately going for U-turn is much better than going for Aerial Ace because if I had gone for Aerial Ace, I'd be in a scenario where he gets up another layer for free pretty much as I am forced to switch out. Or he could uh, gunk shot predicting me to go for the roost and potentially poison me which would be really bad because I don't have heal bell on Musharna. So I U-turn into Archaeops as I'm just going to go for the safe earthquake. As I said, Garboder is a humongous threat to my team. So I'm going to make a very aggressive play here on this Claydol, expecting him to want to go for the Stealth Rocks just because uh, hazards do uh, prove a problem to my team. Plus, he may think that I don't have Defog on Archaeops, and then I can uh, surprise him. Because, as I say, Claydol is just... Claydol, in my opinion, is really not a good NU Pokemon. I don't know why it was RU for so long. Like, this is definitely going to fall down to PU, where it may actually be used. But in NU, I, I really do not like Garbodor. I mean, uh, Claydol, sorry. Like, look at that. Like, I'm not... I only have 8 Attack EVs, and it did 63%. Uh, however, though, he has Ice Beam, and judging from the damage, he is an offensive Claydol, so I guess the damage isn't that surprising. And this, uh, this was a really, really, really bad play that I make here. I didn't go for the Roost because I thought that he would decide to be aggressive and just try to get rid of my Archaeops, so I wouldn't be able to defog away the hazards that he got up later in the match. But, he actually decides to switch directly into his uh, Garboder. Now, I should have seen that coming, because, uh, I mean, me staying in to knock out Claydol, his Stealth Rocker was kind of obvious. I really should have just gone for the Roost here. If anything, I could have just gone for Earthquake, but the play to make here was go for Roost. Um, he could have maybe been Choice Specs. I don't know. I don't know the damage output of a Specs Claydol's Ice Beam to uh, uh, Max HP Archaeops. I, I should have definitely run a Calc, but basically what I'm saying is I royally screw up and I go for Acrobatics, and then I take Rocky Helmet damage on the Garboder, and then stupidly I go for the Roost knowing how obvious it is, and uh, the only thing I did was just give him HP. So I pretty much uh, recovered up the health of the biggest pain and probably the biggest threat to my team outside of Magmortar. Uh, luckily though, he's not going to switch into Magmortar here, so I'm going to go for the Toxic, thinking that he would bring in Ludicolo, but no, he stays in, so expecting him to stay in again, I'm actually going to be aggressive and go for the Earthquake, as he brings in the Light part, I guess maybe trying to uh, Encore me into Toxic, and the fact that I'm able to get off this hit on Light part is really, really good, because as I said, this is literally the only thing stopping my Musharna from 6-0-ing his entire team. That and him potentially critting me to death, which hopefully will not happen. So, I'm able to get off a huge hit and then I'm basically just gonna stay in. And I believe I go for the Scald here because there's literally no reason for me not to. If he brings in Garboder, I burn it. If he brings in Ludicolo, I will burn it. Because I didn't burn with the first Scald. Uh, that's why I actually didn't go for Earthquake. I don't know why he did risk bringing in Garboder like that. I'm guessing he thought I would go for Toxic, which... Um, I don't know. I don't agree with that play, because I basically cripple, again, the hugest threat to my team. As he brings in Ludicolo, I do predict this. I know he's not going to stay in. If he brings in Lipard, Toxic, and get... Alright, that's cool. I'm going to win with Musharna. If he brings in Ludicolo, I Toxic, another potential threat... Well, actually, Ludicolo is a huge threat. Not as big as a threat as Garboder, in my opinion, because I said Garboder just a huge nuisance to my team. Uh, Ludicolo, I can check with Pharisee and Hariyama, but you get what I'm trying to say. Sorry, just I'm just rambling. But basically, I do predict them to bring in uh, Ludicolo. <laughs> and, of course, Tennis. No, okay, so Tennis wears glasses, and uh, Tennis was not wearing his glasses here. So I missed the Ludicolo, then expecting the Giga Drain... I switch in the Pharisee as he gets up the Rain Dance, and I'm going to go for the Leech Seed, expecting him to want to switch out, knowing that he can't do anything to me, as I will be able to uh, just go for the Protect here. However, though, I do not Protect. Wait a minute. Okay, 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 okay. I'm guessing I did expect something here. I thought I would have gone for Protect. Uh, then again, I guess that was a little too obvious. 
So the switch in the mag mortar was pretty obvious. Okay, sorry, my fault there. Uh, my mistake. So I'm going to U-turn out on the mag mortar, hoping that he doesn't have the flame body as he ends up going for the flame charge, which is actually a little bit scary because now I know that he's not choiced and that he could potentially sweep my team if he's running enough speed to outspeed my Archeops. So I'm going to definitely have to watch out for this as he's going to go ahead and switch out into his uh, Garbodor. I do end up going for the knockoff, predicting that as I get off a huge hit. Now, here I am in a bit of a predicament. So, I basically need Hariyama to uh, prevent Magmortar from absolutely sweeping me and to still potentially tank a hit from Ludicolo because I missed Toxic against it. So basically what I could do is stay in here, go for Bullet Punch as it will knock him out, but I will take Rocky Helmet damage and Aftermath damage bringing me uh, fairly low to the point where I probably can't even switch in to these uh, two layers of spikes. Now I don't have Fake Out on Hariyama, which is why I haven't gone for it in this match. Uh, if I did have Fake Out, I maybe would have considered staying in a little bit more, just because I still could have got off uh, the prior damage on Ludicolo and uh, Magmortar. But ultimately, uh, switching out here is definitely by far my better play. I'm very positive he's not going to go for another layer of spikes because, again, there is a chance that I could have defog on my Archeops. And uh, Hariyama is stopping Magmortar and Ludicolo from absolutely uh, tearing through my team. Uh, the only question is, though, is he going to go for Drain Punch or go for the Gunk Shot? Now, I don't want to switch into Quagsire because I don't want to get poisoned by Gunk Shot. I don't want to bring in a Pharisee because I'm already at 93% health, even though he has burned, Drain Punch is still going to hurt, and then I do have to take the um, Spike's damage. Uh, ultimately, I decided that the Gunk Shot was probably his better play to make, because there was maybe a chance I could switch into Archeops, or uh, even switch into the uh, Scyther predicting that. But yeah, like I said, just going into my Pharisee after I really thought about it, was by far my better play, as he does go for the gunk shot, and the burn will be able to knock him out, which is really, really great, because now I do have a better chance of winning this game. However, though, in comes this giant threat known as Magmortar, as I make this A switch into my Quagsire, this Fire Blast hurts, and those spikes are really not helping me any. This is where if I had roosted earlier with my Archeops, I probably would have switched directly into Archeops, and just gone for the um, Earthquake, which might have actually been able to knock out Magmortar at the amount of HP that he's at. Even if he switched into the Clay Doll or the Ludicolo Predicting Earthquake, I can then just go for Acrobatics. Unfortunately though, here I have to hope and pray that he does not have the Hidden Power of Fire. And by him switching directly out into Ludicolo, uh, pretty much tells me, okay, he doesn't have the Hidden Power of Grass. I may Hidden Power of Grass, not Hidden Power of Fire my fault so i'm gonna switch into my pharaoh seed expecting him to just go for the giga drain so predicting him to want to go ahead and switch out i believe i go for the leech seed here if i'm not mistaken yeah because i thought he would want to switch out into uh, the mag mortar so i'm thinking okay he's probably just gonna stay in and just try to finish me off so what i can do here is just go for my stealth rocks because even though yes he does have two potential spinners uh, him spinning is still one free turn that I will be able to get and then I can just use that to my advantage to potentially uh, defog with Archeops Roost or set up with Musharna. Uh, just basically one free turn for me to do whatever I want. But uh, he had other plans and uh, he freezes me. So that's kind of frustrating and then he decides to get up rain because why? Not, and then I try to protect to waste a turn of rain, <laughs> and uh, he knocks me out. So here is where I have to hope that I can take a Hydro Pump in the rain. Uh, at this point, I was a little bit upset, not frustrated, just upset. So I just, I decided to bank it all on this because like there is literally no other play for me to make in this match besides to bring in Hariyama hope I take a Hydro Pump, and then in return I'll finish him off with the close combat. 
Uh, Hydro Pump Okos. Musharna gets two a KO'd, even if I Calm Mind in the rain, I can't beat this one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Quagsire Okoed by Giga Drain, Scyther uh, knocked out by Ice Beam. So basically it comes down to whether or not Keo's 400 pounds can uh, take a Hydro Pump. Somehow though, Keo barrel rolls out of the way. He misses Hydro Pump and I'm able to knock him out with the close combat. If I had hit the Toxic earlier in the match, that wouldn't have had to happen. But luckily Justice was on my side and Keo is going to be able to get off an extra bit of damage on this life heart as I basically get a free kill with tennis in the rain with Scald. If not a kill, I 2 a KO the Hitmonchan which can already do nothing to tennis outside of Toxic Me or go for Hidden Power Grass or the natural gift that is Grass. But I don't know if this can learn natural gift. Basically you get what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Tennis is about to take a life here as he actually ends up going for the play rough, not too sure why he didn't go for the knockoff. Either way, though, I've pretty much won this game with Musharna. As long as he doesn't hax me. So, it turns out that he does have Hidden Power Grass. I'm not sure why he didn't go for it earlier in the match. I'm guessing he thought that I would maybe switch out scouting for it. I guess that kind of makes sense. But, yeah, he just catches me off guard here. I just stayed in and I was going to go for the Earthquake knowing that I could take a... Um, a fire blast so he's gonna knock me out as I can bring in Archeops here now the reason why I brought in Archeops and I didn't bring in Musharna was because what I basically want to do is go for the uh, defog to ensure that Musharna doesn't have to take any unnecessary damage uh, thus making the chances of me winning better if if you get what I'm trying to say I'm not gonna be at less HP than I have to be basically even if I had gone for the Earthquake here, I wouldn't have knocked out uh, Magmortar just because he most likely is Assault Vest, which does run a good amount of HP. It's a max attack, and then the rest is split in speed and HP. So there's really no reason for me to just uh, outright go for the offensive move. As he actually goes for the Flame Charge, which I'm not worried about. It really doesn't matter. But it turns out that I'm actually still faster than him, and I could have just 2 KO'd him with the Earthquake. As he knocks me out with a Thunderbolt, it's fine though because all I have to do is just bring in Musharna, Calm Mind twice, and I basically win. So he's going to go for the Fire Blast, does a little bit more than I had expected. So next turn, I'm basically forced to go for the Moonlight, and then from there, after that second Calm Mind, as long as he doesn't crit me, I should be able to uh, pretty much win the battle. So he is going to go for the Fire Blast, I will be able to... Uh, <laughs> well, I was gonna win, and uh, yeah, what <laughs> I'm not even upset that he did crit me. What I'm upset about is that it was only after one call mine. <laughs> if I if I had got greedy and got up to like plus three and he crit me, okay, I understand. I got greedy. You deserve to crit me. Uh, but yeah, that just goes to show you that Pokemon sucks. Hate this game, but at the same time, I, I love it. It's it's definitely the probably the only game nowadays, along with Hearthstone, that I that I really have the free time to play. But yeah, that is hacks, and uh, it can uh, definitely screw you over. <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully y'all did enjoy, and if you did, uh, you know what to do. With that being said, I will see you all tomorrow, so thank you all for watching. Later everybody.